Hello and welcome to Just One More Thing. I'm your host Janessa and we are on location this week at my mom's house in Colorado. So the background looks slightly different. <laughs> um, we're also a day late. So for anyone who is new to the podcast, first of all, welcome. I'm glad you're here and I hope you enjoy it. Um, but just a note that this isn't my usual setup, nor is it my usual recording time, and it's going to be probably pretty short today. <laughs> um, you have a lot to look forward to on next week's podcast, and I'll get to that a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, thank you for stopping by and spending some knitting time with me. I hope you enjoy it. So and let's get started. I am actually knitting on my free or fade. I've done four whole stitches and those four stitches are all I've done since I've been on vacation this week. <laughs> um, on this on this particular project. Um, I am going to go ahead and show it to you though because the lighting is so pretty today. I feel like you're going to get a better appreciation for the color. So I started out with this it's all hand spun. I started out with this maroon color and you can see little bits of the turquoise that were spun into that. And then I did, this is the back side, so you're seeing kind of the wrong side, but I, there we go. I faded into the turquoise over, I actually did it over two sections. I talked about that last week and now we're into um, the turquoise and you can see little bits of the green and little bits of the maroon in this skein. Um, so as soon as I get done with the turquoise, which there's quite a bit of left because I haven't worked on it at all. Let me fix that so I don't lose any stitches. After the turquoise, I will fade into this green. You can see little bits of the pink and the turquoise in the green. And then my last color will be this pink, which you can see bits of the turquoise in. Or not the turquoise, the green. The green. So those were, it was um, a set of bats from Textiles and Mono in the Tide Pool colorway that I spun and left as singles. And because the, the yarn has a kind of a fade going with it, I thought it would make a perfect fade project. And I picked the Free Your Fade. So that's kind of all old information, I know. But if I don't share some old info, there won't be much of a podcast today, <laughs> even with it being a day late. Um, as I mentioned, we're on location in Colorado, so I'm on vacation at my mom's. It was a 12 hour car ride because we hit some major traffic on the way out. Um, you know, those kinds of traffic where you're on an interstate, but it's really just a glorified parking lot, that kind of traffic because of an accident. Um, so Really, I had tons and tons of knitting time available to me. However, I got car sick. <laughs> Not like sick sick, but motion sickness found the better of me that day. For some reason, it never bothers me normally. Unless we're going like on crazy curves or up and down hills or, you know, stuff like that. A flat interstate traveling west should not bother me as much as it did, but for some reason it did. So I got zero knitting time done in the car. I made up for it though earlier in the week um, and since I've been here, this project has been what I've been working on and it is the Mammoth Shawl. This is a test knit for Cozy Up Knits. Um, I talked about the sisters who are behind Cozy Up Knits have a podcast called Knitting with the Cozy Up 
cozy up with the Stitch and Sisters. I almost said knitting with the Stitch and Sisters, but that that's not right. Um, so here's what I have so far. I'll try to get it all on screen. It is quite a large shawl. Um, let me do this so you can see the cable better. It's a basic triangle shawl with this cable at the center. And then um, soon-ish, I'll be able to do an applied edging that's also cabled. Um, right now, we're just growing the main part. I think I have about 59 more uh, increases or something like that to go on each side to get the number of stitches I need to do the edging. So I really like this shawl. I'm knitting it on size nines on my knit pick circulars. Um, I had debated whether or not to go up a needle size to a 10 because down here where I cast on, I was just, it felt like everything was really tight. Um, I felt like my gauge was really tight and I just wasn't sure I was gonna like it. But the more, the heavier the shawl gets, because it is worsted weight, the heavier it gets, the more, how do I wanna say this? It was better that I stayed at the gate at the needle size called for and the gauge that I was at because as it got heavier a looser gauge would have really like pulled like the cable definition would have just gone dead I've never really cursed on this podcast but it would have it would not have held up well <laughs> um, so yeah if I'd have had a looser gauge and as it got heavier it just would have really pulled all of that out, you know, and, and drag it down. So the smaller, the tighter gauge I felt is needed for your cable definition. And as the shawl gets bigger and as it, you know, it loosens up quite a bit. So it was a good thing I stuck with the nines, a very good thing. Um, I am knitting this, oh, hello, like, as I just shove my forehead into the camera, um, out of Line Brand Vanna's Choice, and it doesn't really, it's called Dusty Blue is the color that I'm knitting it out of, and when I get done with it, this will be a shawl for my prayer shawl ministry that I knit for quite often. The other project that I started, because I felt it would have been good car knitting, and it could have been had I not got sick, is my Glamour Wrap. This is a pattern from the book, which I don't have with me, called Drop Dead Easy Knits. These patterns are very socially knitting friendly. Um, they're patterns that are easy to memorize. They're patterns that are kind of mindless. You don't have to pay a ton of attention to them. They're really good for those kinds of things. Um, I am knitting this in the wrap size. It also gives stitch counts for a scarf size. And you can see it's gets a lot of its shape from drop stitches. I am knitting this out of loops and threads, impeccable. Um, it's, I believe it's like the Michaels brand and it does not have a color seaside, maybe, I guess is the color they've given it. So there's the information on that. 
And I didn't know for sure if this pattern was going to look okay in a variegated, but I'm happy with it. The drop stitches kind of break up the colors and it doesn't pull too bad. And I mean, really, it's just, there's not a lot of pattern to get lost in a variegated yarn. It's just drop stitches. So yeah, I think it works well. The pattern shows it in a really nice, like solid gray. And I think that would be very pretty as well, but I don't think it loses anything by using a variegated yarn. So I'm not terribly far on that. I've done one, two, three, four repeats, it looks like. So there you go. Those are the three projects that I have been working on um, since I've been here. I brought yarn for another project, but I doubt I'll get to a point where I can cast it on. Like I really, in my mind, thought I was going to knit the whole way out here and like be nearly done with the mammoth shawl. <sighs> Darn motion sickness. I've stocked up on some Dramamine while I've been here. And maybe if I load up on that on the way home, I'll be able to knit and not <laughs> have issues. I also brought with me, and I'll show it to you even though it hasn't really made much progress since you've seen it last. It's just been a really long time since you've seen it. So it really has not made a lot of progress <laughs> since you've seen it other than I added on that little bit of yellow um, it kind of started out gray. This is one of those self-stripey ones. I think the last time I showed it to you, I had just done the pink. So we really have not added a whole lot to it. I think the little ball that I'm working from is a little fleecy sock yarn scrap. Don't know the colorway. So anyway, I did bring that with me to work on. Um, just in case I needed something, I don't know, just in case I needed something extra. You never know when you're on vacation, what you're going to feel like doing or where you're going to be or any of that stuff. So let's talk about why more knitting hasn't been accomplished since I've been on vacation. <laughs> Shall we? Let me put some of this stuff back up. Um. So I last talked to you on Tuesday. We left for my mom's on Saturday morning. And in that time frame, most of what I just showed you was worked on at home. I know, right? Like I'm on vacation. I should be doing nothing but sitting around and knitting. But we've had so many other things to do that I haven't been able to work on the things that I wanted too much. Other than the glam wrap, that's pretty much what I've, it's been in my purse, it's what I've been working on since we've been here. Um, because the mammoth shawl is like too big to carry around with me right now, even though that's kind of what I want to be knitting on. So we got here on Saturday. On Sunday, we went out on the boat my mom's boyfriend has a boat that he took us out on. Um, so we went fishing on Sunday. We went out on the boat on Monday and went fishing again. And yesterday we, you've got it, went out on the boat. <laughs> um, so I did put my glam wrap in my purse to knit on the boat. But if I couldn't knit in a car, I and I've had Dramamine, it just... It's very hard to knit when the way, <laughs> when it's like this. Um, whoops, move my table. There we go, that's better. So yeah, um, knitting didn't get accomplished very much on the boat. And when we weren't on the boat, we were traveling to go um, meet up with his family. This is kind of the first time that I've been able to meet his family. And so we were kind of doing those family introductions and I just didn't have a chance to really knit much in the cars while we were driving. 
because we were all smushed into one vehicle. Um, so, yeah, there's not a lot so of So, this happens. has been our first day where, since they're back at work, um, Ben and the kids and I have just been able to kind of sit and relax and take things easy and do what we want. So, lots of knitting time is happening today. Um, last week I did mention that I was going to try to go to Fancy Tiger today, which is a craft knitting store down in Denver. That's not going to happen today because as I was looking at the store info to try and figure out like directions and a good time to go and things, I noticed on Instagram, I came across a post that talked about their anniversary. And I'm going to throw the picture up here <laughs> so that you can actually read it. Um, Fancy Tiger Crafts is having an anniversary celebration on July 8th. That's Saturday, the day before we leave to go back home. And they're going to have like swag bags and gifts when you purchase and all kinds of stuff. I think that the gift when you purchase is also good for online purchases. So if you're not local to them, you might need to check it out online. I'm excited. I'm going to try to get there like early and maybe be one of the first hundred people through the door that gets a swag bag. It won't be the end of the world if I'm not, but I think it'll be fun to go like on a day where they're celebrating and doing anniversary stuff. So we're going to wait and go down on Saturday, and then my mom can come with me. Um, she is a crafty person at heart. She's actually very much an artist. In fact, I don't know if I can tip this up a little bit. You can kind of see the wall behind me. <laughs> Hope that didn't make you too motion sick. Um... All of those are my mom's paintings out there behind me. She's very much an artist, um, but she likes to craft and things too. So I thought she would enjoy, get a kick out of going down and they have fabrics and things at Fancy Tiger, I hear. I've never been. So I think she'll enjoy it. Brooklyn wants to go. We're going to drag Ben and Emerson along with us. We might, <laughs> we might drop them off at Cabela's or something on the way, but they're going to come down with us and then we're going to... Um, like have lunch and stuff down in Denver. So that will be our Saturday adventure and I'll get to tell you all about it on next week's podcast, which will be at the normal time on Tuesday. Hopefully there will be a lot more knitting progress to show you. It'll probably still just be on those few projects that I share today. Unless I find something that I just have to cast off <laughs> on the car ride home, but that's doubtful. Um, I think I'm going to stick to what I got and get it finished up and then we'll cast on new stuff when we get home. So anyway, not much else has happened. Yesterday was the 4th of July and we went, um, like I said, on the boat most of the day fishing. But then last night we went over to Lafayette or Lafayette. I don't know how they pronounce it here. <laughs> I say Lafayette, um, Colorado. And they had a big fireworks display out over the lake there at their town. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. The kids had a blast. I'll insert a few pictures here at the end of some of our fun activities that we've been up to so far. Uh, Brooklyn and Ben have been catching fish. Emerson and I have not. Not very good fishermen, apparently. Um, so there were some impressive catches by Ben and Brooklyn. They enjoyed that. Um, and then, yeah, that works. So, fun vacation stuff. Not a lot of knitting. Very short episode. I'm looking at the thing, and it says 24 minutes. And there's quite a bit that I have to edit out, though. Sorry, guys, for the wee short episode. But there really wasn't a whole lot to share. Other than me rambling. On and on and on at the end. <laughs> Um, so yeah, next week will be all about Fancy Tiger and maybe some yarn purchases, um, hopefully better car knitting exploits to share, and I look forward to it. So thanks for stopping by for this very, very quick podcast today. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. 
uh, share with your friends. That's always much appreciated. And if you need show notes, uh, there probably won't be any this week. Sorry. I just don't have time to do. I'm, there's not much to share show note wise. It's all projects that I've done before. So if you want to know more about like the yarn or the project or the pattern, um, look back through last week's show notes, which can be found on Facebook or in my podcast group. All right. We will see you all next week with more and better content.